Today on Engineering Newswire, we're inverting EV inverters, battling the keyboard killer, and carrying a classified payload to space in a Boeing UAV. They say oil is the biggest keyboard killer of them all. And by they, I mean Man and Machine, a manufacturer of medical grade keyboards and mice. But for me, the keyboard killer is usually Cheetos. Oh. Yes. So to solve these problems, Man and Machine introduced a new keyboard at the International Manufacturing Technology Show in Chicago this year. Dubbed the really o cool, the O stands for oil. The keyboard has laser etched keys on a sealed silicone design. The company also offers optional features such as backlit keys, a magfix attachment system for ferrous surfaces, magfix, and various lengths of USB cable options. Private labeling for OEM applications are also available. But most importantly, it is waterproof, oilproof, dirtproof, and tough enough for the industrial world or my cubicle. <laughs> no! The company really put this keyboard through the ringer. I mean, they beat it. They burnt it. And even ran it over. But you know, we had to do it for ourselves, just to make sure. What's the biggest problem with electric vehicles? They're heavy. Hey, oh, look at that. Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Well, researchers at Oak Ridge National Laboratory have created a power inverter that could make electric vehicles not only lighter, but more powerful and efficient as well. At the core of this development is a wide band gap material made of silicon carbide that provides high inherent reliability, overall efficiency, frequency operation, better temperature tolerance, lighter weight, and higher power density, each better than standard semiconductor materials. 3D printing also played a role and actually one that expanded beyond funky enclosures as half of this thing was 3D printed. Researchers used the booming new tech to optimize the 30 kilowatt prototype inverter's heatsink. This allowed them to place low temperature components close to the high temperature devices, reducing the electrical losses as well as the package's volume and mass. Another key to their success was using several small capacitors connected in parallel to ensure better cooling and cost compared to using fewer, larger, more expensive brick type capacitors. Tests confirmed nearly 99% efficiency, surpassing the Department of Energy's power electronics target. So Oak Ridge is now working on an inverter with more 3D printed parts, one that's half the size of EV inverters. And the team thinks they can pull off an inverter that has four times the power density of their prototype. More power. Ow. Yeah. Whoa. 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 <laughs> so we all remember the space shuttle program. Returning to the space station, taking the way for future missions beyond. For some of us, it even brings back some awkward 1990s nostalgia. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. Well, the Air Force has taken to using a similar looking unmanned spacecraft for top secret missions in space. The Boeing built X-37B is about 29 feet long with a wingspan of less than 15 feet. So it's no space shuttle, but it is technically a UAV. The unmanned space vehicle is currently finishing up its mission to space as preparations for the landing begin at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. But here's the thing. The purpose and the payload of these missions has been censored from public knowledge. In fact, this is the X-37B's third orbital flight since it was first launched in October of 2012. According to officials, the space drone is designed to demonstrate reusable spacecraft technologies for America's future in space and orbiting experiments which can be returned to and examined on Earth. Hmm. The payload bay is about the size of a pickup truck bed, but the Air Force officials have been stressing that each payload is absolutely classified. 
mind. Regardless, it's still pretty cool that shuttle-like spacecraft may be making its way back into the limelight. Even if it is a drone. With a secret payload. On a classified mission in space. <laughs> DS to ideas, comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm Melissa Fossbender and this has been your Engineering Newswire. Uh, yeah,